quick. I just want to know if the Democrats are super spreaders. Anybody got any information on that? I don't know if you guys heard about the story. You should by now, but there are a bunch of Texas Democrats who were, you know, trying to block this this legislation. I believe it was pertaining to voting, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and they left the state. And then a bunch of them tested positive for um, a bunch of them tested positive with 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 COVID. Supposedly they're all vaccine layers to this guys layers to this, but let's read the story just real quick to give you guys some uh, insight real quick. Of course, I'm reading blazes coverage of it. Chris and Laura says two additional Texas house Democrats. So this is an additional to the ones before who fled the state last Monday to block legislation from passing the Texas legislator later, excuse me, have tested positive for COVID-19. This news comes after Texas house Democrat caucus announced Saturday that three caucus members had tested positive. So now we have over up to five. The Texas House Democrats caucus announced Sunday that following three positive tests on Friday and Saturday, the caucus conducted additional testing as a result. Found two additional House Democrats tested positive. That brings the total to five. The caucus said in a statement, in light of some positive COVID-19 tests over the weekend, the House uh, Democratic caucus has decided to go beyond the CDC guidelines and provide daily rapid tests for all members and staff. As a part of this precautionary testing to, uh, today, two additional members who are fully vaccinated tested positive. All of the HDC members who tested positive are feeling good with no symptoms, only mild or only mild symptoms. Which one is it? Uh, with uh, As with the first announcement, the caucus did not disclose the identity. So they didn't tell you who it was um, that did it. It was just or that were of that ilk of the group. But we know that they tested positive. Uh, however, Texas State Rep Trey Martinez Fish, Fishers later said that he is one of the infected members and is expecting mild, experiencing some mild symptoms, uh, as well as State Representative Cecilia Israel also revealed that she tested positive. It was not exactly clear why the caucus have has such high rate of infection. The caucus claims all members are vaccinated, which will make this a breakthrough rate a significant higher than what it has been seen in the general population. So this is an interesting thing here. So there's layers to it. Uh, depending on how you want to approach this. Now, supposedly these guys were vaccinated. I'm not going to say I knew who they were. If you heard me on news and why it matters, I talked about this. I don't know. I don't really care to be honest. Maybe they were, maybe they weren't. But what does this say? Okay. Well, tells me, that which they're not going to concede, they are super spreaders. So the stuff that they claim everybody definitely before uh, the vaccines and stuff, they were telling everybody that moved around. Basically, you were a super spreader if you went around. Definitely when you're in groups, all this other stuff and you were doing all the traveling. And of course, they did it and then they end up testing positive. So they're super spreaders as far as I'm concerned. But the other thing, which I guess is the more serious note, Moving a sar- removing a sarcasm. You remember that there were a lot of people that, including experts, who just simply said, stop getting tested. Stop getting tested. Just stop getting tested. Now, again, what's your opinion on that? That's your business. But I do remember vividly that there were people that said that. Why? Because generally and definitely when it comes to these rapid tests and the accuracy, they can be up for question. You can get false positives. You can get sort of, um, you know, uh, are you sick is the question. You know, you get this no symptoms, which means you're healthy, but you may be carrying it and all that stuff, as they say, stuff that we never did really for other viruses and where we just mass forms of testing for each and everything. I could just imagine if every single virus had mass forms of testing, you probably got all kinds of shit in you. Uh, cold, corona, uh, you know, coronaviruses that's generally associated with the common cold flu viruses and even though you ain't got no symptoms and they call you asymptomatic which all that means is that you're healthy so what this says does because this happened out of result of the rapid testing is what they said so the other people weren't i guess they wouldn't have got tested otherwise they said they went above the cdc uh guidelines in doing so so that's one layer of it is that the testing is it positive is it not i don't know do they actually have it i don't know 
But the other thing about it is, well, these people are vaccinated as well. If that's the case, again, we two things. You got a bunch of different scenarios. Let's say this. Which one is true? I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to make a solid statement, but one of them has to be true. Nonetheless, if we assume that the vaccine they got, which is supposed to, this isn't supposed to happen, right? Why are they, why are they testing positive in the event that they got the vaccine? If it's working in the event, it, it, like they said that it was. So is it a deal where it may be, and this is what I guess it technically does do anyway, is mitigate uh, symptoms as opposed to just complete prevention. But it's just bizarre that these guys who claim that they are vaccinated ended up testing positive for COVID despite getting a vaccine. So maybe it's not working in the way that it does. And that brings up another thing right there. It's like, okay, what if we see more of this if the people that have been vaccinated were still getting these rapid tests? Because most part, most well, most of them are because remember, you get plus 10 immunity. Um, and you feel invincible when you get the vaccine, according to them. But you get you get it, or they just flat out lying about the getting vaccinated in the first place. Which you know, I, you they are Democrats, so you have to kind of assume that 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 well, you can't dismiss that. That that has to be on the table. So, what is it here? Either way, no matter what angle you take it, it's some funky business going on out of this. So whether it be with the overall general narrative, which they would have to accept that they are then indeed super spreaders uh, with a very high percentage rate in terms of uh, transmission. But then you also have the fact that, wait a minute, is it this is a case of, okay, well, this is what happens when you get rapid testing. Do are they cooking, you know, going back to when we were like in the middle of the pandemic before the vaccines and, you know, were they cooking the books? Well, we already knew that Orlando was it that couldn't cover that they were counting motorcycle accidents and shit for COVID, all of that sort of stuff, or they're lying, which again, you have to put that on the table. There's three and maybe four, five, six other scenarios that could be the case. Either way, something funky is happening. Either way, you, way you look at it, it's funky business. So I don't know. I, I'm not going to pretend like I know exactly what happened or what the actual uh, cause of this is, but it is interesting that certainly coming from that party, considering how they have approached this pandemic, that these fools tried to get out of uh, out of voting or rather to block some legislation and end up becoming super spreaders in the process. And they claim to be vaccinated. That's interesting. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at YouTube.com slash Young 59 and follow us over at Odyssey.com slash at Young 59 If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit ForCanonSake.com.